Hello dear students, welcome back to the last portion of our chapter that is the history of clothing materials. We already discussed about how from a fiber a fabric is developed. Fiber means from a very small thing that is small string like stretches from that a fabric a cloth material is prepared. We already discussed this process. Now we are going to discuss about the history. What is the past? What were the clothes that the people who lived in this earth were at earlier times? See, most of the people at earlier times live near the river banks, isn't it? Why they live near the river banks? For the availability of water, for easy transportation of materials from one place to another. Through water they can transport it. There were no vehicles. So that was the easier method for them. So at that time they live near the rivers. See, so the people at that time have no access to anything. They don't have cloth or something. So they used to wear their body with twigs and leaves. Some of the leaves they put all over the body and they will cover their body with the leaves. And after a section of time, what they do? They weave some leaves what is weaving you know so they get some long grass and by using that long grass they weave a fabric out of it and that fabric they wear over their body and also from sticks also they made mats especially from the ticks ticks means so from that they woven mats you know uh, maybe your grandmothers used this pulpai and even their roofing materials were made from this and now even now some of the, your grandfathers grandfathers may or grandmothers may know about the weaving with the coconut leaves that weaving they may know coconut strands they may know so from these type of things and even umbrella is made from the ticks so from the sticks and leaves the next generation changed. They used to they find their fabrics. They made their fabrics from animal hairs. That is from animal hairs, that's such like goat, sheep. From their hairs, they made into fiber by twisting and using this fiber they weave clothes. Next one from cotton or flax. Cotton and flax are similar type of uh, fabric providing plants. And they were grown in the banks of river Ganga and also along the banks of river Nile in Egypt. In India it was grown along the river, uh, basins of river Ganga and in Egypt it was grown along the sides of Nile, Nile river. And from this people obtained the fabric and that fabric they used to wear. But even that time we wear only the clothes which is not stitched. That is only fabrics we will wear. That means we will cover, wrap our body, our body in the fabric. We don't know about the stitching and making into a shape like this. But only we know about wrapping the body. So they cover a portion from here to the downside by wrapping their body in the in this cotton or flax fiber. And after that we developed stitching. So what happens when we developed the stitching is we started to produce the clothes that we wear today that is the shirts pants or the churidars of that kind we produce only when we discovered the term stitching so after stitching only we were known to this field even now the people are using some of the cloth material without stitching example sari or the dhoti we are wearing that is clothes that wrap around our body sari is wrapping around the body as like dhoti also that is wrapping around the body without any stitch so even now we are following this wrapping method as we got it from the earlier ones the former ones so this is about the history of clothing from leaves we reached like the stitching of fabric to the shirts that we wear or the, to the chiridas you are wearing today so that's all about the chapter. See, this chapter is very, very, very easy chapter in the section science of sixth class. So read it well from the first to last, read the topics and find the answers for the 
I think you already done the first and second question. Find the answer for the third question. That is the fill in the blanks question. And the next one I will give fourth, fifth and sixth question answers I will give in your group. So find the answers for third, the exercise third question. Okay. Hope this chapter is clear for you. Okay. Thank you.